My name is Julie. I'm here to talk about my son, Teddy. Teddy is 16 now, although he's about to turn 17. He turned 17 in a couple of weeks. Um, so when he went to CIP last summer, he was a young 16. And when he goes this summer, he will be 17. I actually had CIP bookmark computer for many years before he was old enough for me even to be considering the program. I mean, it sort of seems like the gold standard. It's been around a really long time. It it does it had I liked that it had a lot of different facets, especially when I was looking when he was a lot younger because you know, it seemed like it could be a good fit for him regardless of how he turned out to you know, develop. Um, I like that it had places all over the country, so that options, um, and that it was affiliated with both four-year universities and community colleges, so depending on where he was, we had we had choices that way too. Um, and it just, it seemed like a really good program. Like the people had spent a lot of time thinking about what works um, and were doing really smart things. Um, and so I've been sort of waiting for him to, to get old enough for him to be ready for it. So I really wanted something that would give him an opportunity to experience college life or, you know, get a taste of what college would be, but in a supportive environment, um, get a feel for what dorm life is like, having to handle shared bathrooms and a shared bedroom and dorm food and, and being able to negotiate all of that stuff before he actually is in college when he's dealing with everything else that comes with going away. And he had a blast. He had a great time. His favorite activities, I think, were zip lining and the science museum. Um, he loves the perpetual motion ball machines in the science museum in, in Indianapolis has one of those. So he was excited to get to see that. He learned a ton about himself, about college. And now he is really excited about the idea of going to college. Sending your kid away is super hard. And I think the distance is would give any parent pause, especially a parent of a kid with special needs. Um, I think it's probably good both for the kid and the parent because the kid knows you can't be there in five minutes and you know you can't be there in five minutes. And so you both have to be prepared to work out issues as they come up um, without mom being there. And I know, I mean, I see with my son who's typical that he's already started pushing me away in a way that is good and normal. You know, like he doesn't want to tell me about everything and he doesn't want me involved in everything. Whereas with Teddy, he is a little more, he still wants my input. He still wants my help. And it's harder for me to back away in a way that I think typical kids force their parents to back away, even when parents know they should, but it's hard to do. And so I felt like it was really a good thing that I had to step back. Um, and I say that in the days leading up to him going, I'm always sort of a wreck. Um, and why did I decide to do this? And, um, but then once he's there and I know he's okay, he's okay and I'm okay. And it's, he has gone away to a couple of different programs and every time it's been totally worth it. And I have fretted and, I mean, the day I get to pick him up is the best day in the world, but it's so, he just comes back more independent, more confident, more mature. And he and I both feel like he, like we both have a sense of how much he really can do that I think it's too, it's, it's really easy to do stuff for your kid, especially if they want you to and will let you. And it's good to be forced not to, I think.